Hey, what's going on guys, Nick here, and last year, 135 million doses of the flu vaccine were distributed, covering almost 15% of the US population. In fact, the industry expected to be worth $52 billion in 2016 has been doing incredibly well in recent years. What was once the scourge of mankind and the illness of the century has seemed to devolve into something that can be cured with an innocuous prick of the skin every year. Or has it? The influenza virus mutates very rapidly, meaning that a more resistant vaccine is required every calendar year. That being said, a team of international researchers has come to the rescue because they've isolated a brand new antibody that they believe has finally gotten the upper hand. Is it time to say goodbye to taking flu shots forever? Let's find out. So before we get started, let's quickly cover how vaccines work and protect your body. When bacteria or certain viruses infect your body, there are several stages of proposed defense. Macrophages are big white blood cells that go ahead and digest the virus and leave behind what's known as an antigen. Now this definition is very crucial to the rest of our discussion. An antigen is almost like an identifying tag of sorts for the virus. It lets the body know what to attack and which virus to go after. Each antigen comes coated in a layer of surface proteins that are specific to one living organism, whether it be a bacteria, virus, or any other living cell for that matter. The antigen is a part of the virus, and when left behind by the macrophages, it tells your body what exactly to go after. Antibodies are then produced which go after the antigens and for any cell that's already been infected, your T lymphocytes take care of that. The vaccine works by injecting antigenic material of a particular bacteria or virus that you're trying to prevent into your body and it fools your immune system into thinking that it's being attacked so that you produce millions of antibodies to combat the harmful antigens. That being said, the vaccine gives your body almost a template of antigens so that if you ever were really attacked by the actual virus, you would have already developed an adaptive immunity and your antibodies could eradicate the virus very easily. Now keep in mind that vaccines aren't always perfect, especially when it comes to the mutability of the virus itself. The problem and the most disconcerting part about viruses like influenza comes from the antigen. Basically, the surface proteins of the virus vary from strain to strain so that it can very easily wreak havoc on your immune system. The antibodies that your flu vaccine helped create only work for a particular antigen. So when a foreign body enters your system that doesn't carry the particular antigen that you've been vaccinated against, it'll be like you never got vaccinated in the first place. Doctors have to try and predict which strain is most popular during that calendar season, and they don't always get it right when they formulate the vaccine. Thankfully, this newly isolated antibodies, known as CT140, bypasses all of the surface proteins and binds directly to the stem of the virus, where all of the proteins are identical on multiple strains. And the best part is that this region hasn't mutated in all the years that scientists have been doing research on it. The antibody was isolated during the 2009 H1N1 pandemic, and to test its viability, researchers injected mice with the antibody and then infected them with four of the most powerful flu strains, including the one that caused the pandemic in the first place. And to no surprise, they were protected by all all four. Okay guys, so maybe I lied. This doesn't mean that you're never going to get another vaccine again, but it does mean that you might get a single vaccine that protects you against all strains of the flu virus for decades to come, curbing pandemics and staving off outbreaks at every single turn. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>